Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to day one of my Spellbinders 2024 Crafty Advent series. Spellbinders generously sent me one of their advent calendars to open and share with you here on my channel. So each day from the 1st to the 24th, I'm going to have a quick and fun video to show you what's behind the new door and create a project. For day one, the gift was a die set. And when you cut the pieces and put this together, you're going to make an adorable little hot air balloon. I decided to make the hot air balloon itself the focus for today, so I didn't really cut any of the accessory pieces, but you can definitely jazz this up as much as you want. I like how the balloon part, it has some indentations to help you get the red areas or whatever color cardstock you choose placed just right on there. When I had that together, I added the basket to the string, the little black piece, and I just put some glue on the top of the bottom and put that in place. For the next step, I put the balloon part on the top of the black string piece, but I think it probably was meant to go on the front because it has the cute little pendants that you can string across that curved piece. But since I won't be using that today, I think this works just as well. While the hot air balloon dries, I'm going to create a little background for it. So I cut a square of white cardstock to 3 inches by 3 inches, and I am using a cloud stencil from a past club kit to create a cloudy sky background. Now because it also has other openings, I did cover that up with some removable tape, and then working from the top to the bottom and flipping and moving the stencil back and forth, I created a nice cloudy sky. If you are enjoying this series, I think you're going to love my daily advent lives. Make sure to check out the link at the top of the description box below and join me for the next live stream where I will be opening multiple crafty calendars and creating a new tag each day. Once my hot air balloon was all dry, I added some foam tape to the back of it and the little hello banner and got both of these pieces added to the sky background. I wanted to make it look like the hot air balloon was floating, so I did put it in the upper right hand corner of the square, and then I added the banner over on the lower left. Each time I added some liquid glue to the back of the foam tape, so I had some time to adjust it and get it just right. To finish off today's square, I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I brought in some Spellbinders Color Essential Gems in the Crystal Mix, and I added a trio around that sentiment banner. For this series, I made a special little mini photo album, and each day's creation is going to get turned into kind of an instant photo, or what you might know as a Polaroid. So once I had my square done, I got it added to the top center of my background piece, and then it's just going to get put back in the album, so at the end of the month, I will be able to go back and just see what each day's little gift was. It's such a fun and cute way to remember this series. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you would like to be notified of my next advent video, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for all notifications. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.